Lynn, you talked earlier about kind of understanding the relationships between your partners and understanding the different um, political motivations and other motivations that they have. Um, I was curious what you see as some of kind of the basic philosophical differences between NASA as a space agency and uh, some of the, the, the motivations and the expectations of our partners that we work with. I think we actually have quite a lot in common. The differences tend to be more um, what are the political drivers um, at that time. Uh, so, you know, is a mission driven by uh, their science community and science priorities? Is it driven by the industrial return that they have to have uh, for, uh, for their nation? And uh, you know they need industrial return, and this uh, their prime country uh, company has a certain expertise. Therefore, there's a piece of technology that they have to have to work on in order for it to be politically feasible at home. Um, th those kinds of things. So that it's not that they're that they're completely different, going in a different direction, but that um, you just need to figure out which ones are more drivers for them. The other thing that we learned over time was that each partner had really a different timing. You know, we had our natural budget process where in February you kick off with the president's budget and then you go through the congressional hearings. And, and so we had to condition the partners of, okay, during these months you're going to hear all kinds of strange things and that's where the big posturing thing happens. And during these kind of months we can't really talk to you, we can't talk about anything that's in the budget. Well, they each had their own version of that, and so we became very attuned to what are their budget cycles. What is their, you know, like for ESA, it's everything is decided at the next ministerial meeting, whenever is that going to be, typically in the fall. But it's always the next ministerial meeting that, that you're waiting for a, a proclamation from ESA. And, and the, the no changes from the Japanese seem to be driven by they had a complicated convoluted ministerial structure in Japan that was a challenge to work things through. So you have to get an awareness of uh, not just the, the partner's needs and industrial base, as Lynn said, has, is a big one. It really does factor a lot of things. But their own, the way they have to work their own politics uh, is really important. And the more you're sensitive to that, I think the, the more it helps you find common agreements. Yeah, we all know that the Japanese fiscal year begins on April 1 because we could never move a launch date from March and into right. April without going through um, very long involved discussions and careful timing as to when it was announced.